Hi guys and welcome to Lockdown Learning. My name is Ben Scott Robinson and I am from the Small Robot Company. We are on a mission to transform farming and we are using robots to do it. We are building three robots called Tom, Dick and Harry and they will make farming so much more sustainable and kinder to the environment. Which means that we're nicer to bees and we're nicer to insects and we're nicer to worms and wildlife and fish. And the good news is that we're also um, helping farmers too by making their farming more efficient and more precise. Yeah, robots! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tom, Dick and Harry. These are small farming robots. They're very, very light and careful, so they will not squish the cute worms. Okay, so... How does this work? Tom looks at the fields and the plants. He knows exactly what to plant, where and when, so that we can make more food. And this robot is Dick. He zaps weeds. Tom can tell him where the weeds are and Dick can zap them. Zap! Blah! Zap! And Tom can tell Dick if the plants are poorly and need more food. And then he can feed each one that needs it exactly the right amount very, very carefully. And this robot is Harry. Harry very carefully plants the seeds and remembers exactly where he put them. Harry is extremely accurate. Working together, the small robots digitise the farm, making it more efficient and productive. Small robots are kinder to the environment and hedgerows and worms and bees and fish. Now you are going to meet our robot here, Andy, and he's going to tell you all about electricity and how our weeding robots really work. To kill weeds without using chemicals, we want to put electricity through them. As I'm sure you know from school, some things conduct electricity and some things don't. For instance, metal conducts electricity, and we know that glass, air and water don't conduct electricity very well at all. However, we also know that lightning, is, which is electricity, goes through air because we see the lightning bolt go from the cloud to the ground. The difference is voltage. Batteries like this are one and a half volts and normal batteries in the house are up to nine volts. This PP9 is a nine volt battery. Your phone battery is 3.7 volts. But we know that lightning, which is electricity, travels from the clouds through the air to the ground. The big difference there is that's a billion volts. So if we get the voltage high enough, we can make most things conduct. So that's how we actually get electricity to travel through, through plants by having a really, really high voltage. Now you can make this really high voltage at home. All you need to do is take a balloon, rub it against your hair. Once your hair starts standing on end, you can then take it to a, in a dark room and move the spoon really close to it. If you move the spoon really close to it and look really, really closely, you'll see a little spark. You've generated enough voltage to be able to make a spark. Fortunately, not enough to kill you, and unfortunately, not enough to kill weeds. So we are building the farm machines of the future. We have the coolest job in the world. But can we inspire you to do the same? Have a go and enter our competition with NFU Education. Now go out and check the more videos on the Eat Farm Now and on the NFU Education site. Um, also, there's a competition where you can win a little remote control version of one of our Tom robots to have a play with. And finally, if you make a video uh, using our balloon experiment, remember to share it on social media using the hashtag ShockDownLearning. That's right, ShockDownLearning. Thank you very much.